the rainy season is the perfect time to plant seedlings. This is a grand fur plug. This project is focused on the long-term warm, dry future when Washington rain resilient trees will suffer. We know that climate change is coming. We're already seeing some hotter, drier summers, and we want to find trees that are adapted to hot, dry summers. Paul Fisher and King County foresters are in Issaquah planting seedlings they think might do well in warmer climates. Our conditions are changing. Maybe we can source seeds that are adapted, genetically adapted to drier, hotter conditions, but they're the same species that we grow here. Kathleen Farley Wolf says for the last few years, researchers have been looking at projections for how much warmer conditions could get in the future, then found regions in the Northwest that match those climate projections, including including parts of southwest Washington, along the Oregon coast and into northern California. They pulled seeds from the same species of trees already found in western Washington. Different only in that the seeds come from trees from those warmer climates already adapted to those conditions. This is a control to compare how well our local stuff does. They're planting the various types of trees from these regions side by side in test fields to see what grows best here. So they need to be able to survive our wet and colder winters, but hopefully also can do better in these drier summers of the future. And hopefully find solutions to worsening forest health with a goal of discovering resilient trees that thrive here and eventually planting more in their 28,000 acres of forest land. For me, this is one of the funnest projects to work on. I think we hear a lot of negative things about climate and it can cause people a lot of anxiety. And this is a case where we get to say, OK, how can we help set our forests up for the future? How can we set them up to be resilient? They say they'll know in the next few years which trees from which regions do best, but they'll keep monitoring them for the next decade. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.